So once we have discussed these multi-step method, let us discuss something about boundary value problems. Okay. I think in the very first lecture I discussed that there are two types of problem when you talk about the initial value problem and boundary value problem. So till now the problems that we actually solve were all uh, initial value problem. So when you talk about boundary value problem, the idea is simple. Yeah. It looks something like this, where the domain is from A to B. So this is your differential equation if this doesn't look like this is like this. Okay. And y at A is equal to alpha y at B. So these are the two boundary conditions that we have. So this is the general form of your boundary value problem. So one thing that you can see here is till now the problem that we solved were all initial value problems. Okay. Now what if you encounter a boundary value problem? So how are you going to solve this? How are you going to solve this? So the thing is, is there a possibility of converting this boundary value problem to initial value problem okay and then solve it so yeah that is that is possible so what what we are going to do is we are going to look at this method known as shooting method so what is going to happen is your shooting method is going to kind of convert this problem into initial value problem and then it is going to solve it so basically how this uh, shooting method works we will see in detail okay so to understand that let us uh, consider a problem okay obviously when you talk about boundary value we are going to consider a second order problem so let us say we have a problem say d square t upon dx square plus this is going to be your h dash into t a minus t is equal to 0. Now don't misunderstand this h is something else. Okay. Till now h we the h that we used was for step size but this h is your heat transfer coefficient convective heat transfer coefficient. Okay. So that don't confuse this h with uh, the other h that is step size that we have okay. so this is the problem that we have where h, h dash is the heat transfer coefficient ta is the ambient temperature or the surrounding temperature and t is the temperature that we want okay and the boundary conditions are given okay so the problem says so i am directly solving a problem so that you understand so what, what it says is use shooting method to solve this problem for a 10 meter rod. So the length of the rod is actually 10 meter. Okay. With the convective heat transfer coefficient as 0 0.01 and ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. And the boundary condition. So obviously, if we look at this, this is nothing but a boundary value problem. So to solve this problem by all the techniques that we have learned, the very first thing that we'll have to do is we'll have to convert this problem into a first order problem. Because when you talk about Euler's method, when you talk about uh, Ranga Kutta method those all method were only applicable for your first order matter first order uh, differential equation but this is second order differential equation and also i think we have seen a method how we convert a second order differential equation into two first order differential equations we we looked at it when we started with euler's method so basically what we are going to do is we are going to say dt dx is equal to z okay and then we are going to convert dz upon ds t minus ta so 
So what we are going to do, we are just going to assume this. So this is going to be my first differential equation and this is going to be my second differential equation. So when you talk about your uh, boundary condition, so your boundary condition is not given. So here what you are going to assume is, we are going to assume an initial value, initial condition. We are going to assume that let us say that 0 is some value. Okay. So I'm repeating again. So we have the second order problem. So we'll convert the second order problem into two first order problem. So once you convert that, what we are going to do is we are going to assume some initial condition. So if you see here, boundary conditions are given. Okay. So we are going to assume some initial condition. Let us say Z0 is, is something something. Let us say 10. So we are going to assume Z0 is equal to 10. And uh, we are going to solve this differential equation. So once you solve this difference, differential equation, you will get one value of T. Okay. Let us say that value we are getting. Okay. Or, or let us actually solve this. So I, I won't be doing uh, the actual calculation. But if you solve this system or differential equation by assuming some value of initial condition, let us say the initial condition we have assumed is, is 10. So once you assume that initial condition and you solve by some Rangakota or Euler's method, you'll get a value of T. That is 68.3797. Okay. Now again, what you are going to do is we are going to assume another value of Z. Again, we are going to perform Rangakota or Euler's method and we are going to find out the value of T. And let us see, we got the value of 68.3797. So these are the two values of, uh, oh sorry, this we have already done. Let us assume Z is 20 this time. And you'll realize the value that we're getting is 285.8980. So we have got this value of uh, t is t10, t at uh, 10, when we assume the initial condition as 10, as uh, 168.3797, when we assume z0 is equal to 20, we got this value as 10. But what are we interested in? We are interested in the value of z, where the t10 becomes 200. The value of t at 10 meters becomes 200. If you see, this is 168 and this is 285. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to find out that initial condition when your value of temperature at 10 becomes 200. Now to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to apply interpolation. If you see, when you talk about Z0, when you talk about T is equal to 10, first we assume 10. The value that we got is 168.3797. Then we assume 20. We got 285.898980. And our expectation is to get the value of 200. So let us say this is x. Okay, we want to find out the value of x. To find out the value of x, what we are going to do is we are going to apply interpolation. So Linear interpolation, if you apply linear interpolation, you are going to say x minus 10, that is this value minus this value, divided by 200 minus 168.3797. There are many methods in which you can do it. This is my way of interpolation, linear interpolation. Then this is going to be 20 minus 10, divided by 285.8980. 285.8980 minus 168.37 so once you solve this you'll find out the value of x that you are getting is 12.6907 okay so this value is nothing but the value of z that we want to get the value of t is equal to 200 so this is going to be my actual initial condition so if you if you see 
we are kind of performing shooting shooting that is why this method is known as shooting method we shoot some value we find out some value we shoot another value find out some value and then we apply linear interpolation to find out the actual value okay so that means the actual initial condition is going to be z0 is equal to 12.67 so basically we have converted this problem into an initial initial value problem so initial value problem is going to be what dt minus dx to z dz on dx is equal to h dash t minus ta so these are two differential equation first initial value initial condition is going to be 40 another initial condition is going to be 12.6907 so this is the actual problem now that we are going to solve so that is why this method is known as shooting method so i'll again uh, again discuss what we discussed just now again i'm going to just uh, in short i'll tell you we converted the second order differential equation into two first order differential equation we started with some initial value okay so our idea here is to find out initial value that is to convert this boundary condition or the boundary value problem i'm sorry to an initial value problem so i'll assume some value then i'll find out the value of uh, the boundary at the boundary again i am i'm going to do it twice and then i'm going to apply linear interpolation linear interpolation to find out what should be the initial condition given the boundary condition the boundary value so i found out using interpolation this that means now i have converted my initial value problem or oh sorry boundary value problem to an initial value problem so this is known as your shooting method so obviously again if you see this method uh, you can, uh, it's difficult to solve it by hand only simple problems you can solve it by hand you need to use uh, your programming to to actually solve this this uh, real problem using this shooting method i think this this will be all for now and uh, thank you very much